well, where do we start with that one then? Um, oh no, to hectic, be honest. I think, is probably the best way to describe it. Yeah. Um, listen, when you take over a team in a, in a short space of time, um, you really want them to represent you and what you're about and all your values. And I think we did that tonight from minute one. I thought we'd come to a really, really tough place. Um, we showed a different side to ourselves. Um, you know, kind of a bit against all odds last 20 minutes, but we did it, we ground it out, and that's how you build team spirit. That first half in particular, um, on what was the tricky playing surface, just how well do you think we played in that first half? I thought we carried out full instructions. I think tonight all credit goes to the lads, not the staff, not nothing like that. Every credit goes to the lads who was on the pitch tonight because it was difficult, but it was difficult for Ashton who try and play football as well. I know the club. Um, I know kind of the owner personally and I know how much he's invested in, in the pitch this year and it's not quite gone according to plan so it's easy for people to sit here and judge a surface but this is a club trying to do things the right way and you've got to credit them because they're, they're the heartbeat of the football club so I think from that point of view we're just lucky to get a game on tonight and we rolled our sleeves up and, and we showed everybody what we're about tonight and I think while you're in charge of a football club, you never want to go anywhere and be bullied. And I think they tried rough us up as much as they could tonight, but they just couldn't get through. And I'm just so pleased about that. Particularly in that last 20 minutes, obviously, we took a lot of bombardment in defensive areas. Yes. Um, just how pleased were you with the defence? Obviously, lots coming in for his debut. Listen, I, I know what Danny Lafferty offers out any football team he plays for. Uh, he's probably the most humble, hard-working lad I've ever worked with in non-league. And I knew by bringing him in, he could he could help us in the running. And I think he showed that even if today was his only ever game for Mac, I think he's been worth his weight in gold. So my relationship with him is brilliant. Um, but I just think Sam Heathcote's been unbelievable since I come in. Um, obviously, Drew went on at left-back, did really well. Um, Trey was Trey and then um, got a new keeper in Paul Dawson as well, who was really good. So, listen, it, 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 was, it was hectic for 20 minutes, but to come here today and get a 2-0 win against a team who were flying and we're flying is just just really, really satisfying. I'm absolutely delighted tonight. Just touching on the fitness of Brandon, obviously he went off quite early. Yeah. Um, how is he? And what's his um, he it's an impact injury. Um, you know, it's a fur tackle. The, the ball's there to be won. The lad's gone in aggressively, but I would have wanted my players to go in the same way. So it's just one of them. You come on the, the other side of them sometimes. Um, but he'll, he'll be all right. I mean, whether he'll be available for weekend, we don't know. But there won't be any excuses from me. We, we've got a squad and we need to use it. We've got a really a very good squad. We're in great form. We just want that next game to come straight away because we're just hungry to get back on the pitch. And obviously that next game does come Saturday back at home against FC United of Manchester. Yeah. Um, you mentioned the squad element, obviously. With, with suspensions going forward and potential injuries, just how important are we going to be for the rest of the season? Well, that's why we need everyone ready. Um, and and these are a decent group. They all look after themselves and they all know their importance. I think like today, Kengi didn't start, Drew didn't start, but sports them before the game and they, they, they know the worth. Obviously, Bo didn't get on and, and Sweens today, so they're going to have the parts to play. Tom did a, 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 had a bit part to play today, but they're all going to be worth the weight in gold. We've, this football club now got a huge 30 days, so everybody needs to be ready and listen I'm just really proud to be leading them.